Hi guys, Jared here from Modern Zuzu World, talking to you today about the Sport Trek 332 VBH. Um, I do want to start right on the very front. Uh, something really nice that they do on the Sport Treks, they have the nice contoured front, so it helps with the aerodynamics while you're traveling down the highway. Plus they do have a real nice automated glass on the front, so you will get some natural light into the master bedroom, which we will touch on later, but just to get a nice little look of the front of the unit. Uh, down on the campsite, we do have two entrances on the unit. So we do have our main entrance up front here by the be bedroom and living room area. We do also have a second entrance that is direct into the main bathroom as well. Um, nice big, big awning, lots of natural shade on this unit. Uh, on the very front of the unit, this is tucked kind of underneath the master bed. We do have a nice big pass-through storage. They finish it off really nice. You have some nice linoleum and a nice finished job along the sides with some light and everything in there as well. So on the back of the unit, this is a really, really nice outside kitchen on this unit. So Sport Treks are famous for their outside kitchen. We got a little bit of extra storage, have a TV set up. If you have people over to watch the game, you want to stay outside. Plus you have your fridge, you have your cooktop, you have a sink. And then here's your controller for your outside speakers and your TV right here as well. Uh, the roof is also on some hydraulic arms too. Easy to lift up, perfect for a little bit extra rain cover if you do start to get sprinkled on. Quick little touch on the back of the camper here, guys. Uh, we do have it prepped for a backup observation camera. Make sure you ask us about that for your options there. Uh, there is a ladder to get onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof on this unit, so you can get up there, check your seals, do your regular maintenance you need to do. Uh, this one does also have a tow hitch on the bottom, so you can tow up to 3,000 pounds. All right, guys, we're inside. Again, this is the 332 VBH. Uh, very first thing when you come in, we do have a nice big closet. So plenty of room, lots of hanging storage. Put all your smoky sweaters and coats in here if you have to. You can even throw your shoes down on the ledge. Uh, up above it, too, is your main controller to run your slides, check your tanks, run your awning, all that fun stuff. Right up over top. And we'll try and swing in a little bit here, too, because there are a couple other little things. So we have our little hidden storage cubby up here. So there is a charge port up here. So it's our little cell phone hider charger station. Got a little shelving to put your stuff as well. And then down below, kind of under the sink, we do have a little bit of backside storage underneath here too. We're gonna go right into the master bedroom. So it's a true 60 by 80 queen size mattress. The bed lifts up as well. So you got a little bit of extra storage underneath if you wanna pack some extra blankets or whatnot. Uh, as I mentioned on the outside of the unit, you do have a nice big window at the head of the bed so you can get some natural light. There are a couple on either side of the bed too. And then on either side, I mean, that's your hanging storage here. You got a little bit of upper storage and our pillow are kind of hiding it, but we, there is a little cubby on either side of the bed as well. You have some USBs and some true uh, 110 volt charging stations too. Okay, getting into the slide, this is on the driver's side of the unit. So we, we have a nice big U-shaped dinette. This table will fold down if you want to have an extra sleeping space, pop the legs out, put the table down. Uh, a little bit of storage down underneath as well. They actually give you some nice fancy bins that slide in and out so you don't have to dig all the way back there. Just pull your bin out, makes it nice and easy. And then across from the dinette, we get right into the kitchen area. So it's a nice little peninsula kitchen. We have four drawers down underneath the sink here. Uh, you do have a nice little, small little pantry covered up on top and then right into your microwave range hood, three burner cooktop. You do have an actual oven in this one too. Uh, and then in this unit, because we did do the solar package, you get a 12 volt fridge. So only runs off of electric power, no propane on this one. Gets you a little bit of extra capacity, nice big fridge space, lots of freezer storage as well. Two seat, theater seat, reclining. You got your heated seats, you got massage, you have USB chargers, really nice little chair. Got a couple little cupboards up over top and then right across from there is the TV and you do have an electric fireplace on this one as well. So those cool nights outside, you can come on in, take the chill off a little bit, sit and have a little movie night. One extra little bonus that we have kind of before we get into the bunk rooms here uh, is a little bit of either pantry or extra storage. Uh, they did a really nice job. You can adjust these. They kind of have some pegs all the way across here. So you can move your shelves to whatever height you want. Plus you have an extra little spot up top here too. So touching on the washroom in this unit here. So we do have a nice little vanity with a sink in there. Um, there is a cabinet up over top too. So you can hide your Advil when your kids are driving you crazy. 
And then we do have a nice shower with a curtain. And then there is a lip on the bottom of the shower as well too. So if you have little ones in here, you can actually kind of give them a bath if you needed to as well. Okay, so as mentioned when we were outside the trailer, this is the direct entrance into the bathroom. So we have our foot flush toilet. Uh, there actually is a little bit of hanging storage in here too. And then a kind of extra little thing they do uh, is they have a nice little hutch area here. There is washer and dryer prep in this unit, which generally you don't get a whole lot of that in the travel trailer. So kind of a little bonus if you have this out on a seasonal. Uh, and then otherwise you just use it for extra storage or a little change station. All right, into the bunk area on the back of the unit. So camera can't quite get it, but on the flip side of the door, we do have a really nice big pantry area. Uh, it's four feet tall, so plenty of storage for your kids' clothes. Um, this is kind of a nice little thing they did here. So it's kind of a theater seating couch. It will fold down into a bed as well if you pop the table off for an extra sleeping space. Um, you do have your little upper bunk here. This is on a nice hydraulic arm. If you do want to sit here and not smack your head on it, it lifts up and you can latch it up real nice here. And then on the other side, we have our other two bunks. So uh, the top bunk actually has a 500 pound capacity. So you could easily throw an adult or two up there if you needed to. Uh, and then the bottom, same thing, not quite the capacity, it's a 250 pounder, but still easily throw most adults on there. Uh, you do have some charging stations, top and bottom, lots of light in here, uh, and then some extra storage underneath too. Okay, again guys, this was a Sport Trek 332 VBH. Uh, again, a couple things to touch on. Uh, this one comes in a dry weight of 8450, so it is half ton towable. Uh, we did do the solar package. You have the 12 volt fridge, so nice big capacity fridge. We have the nice bunk room. You have the two entrances from outside. Uh, any other questions you have about this, uh, this is located in Weyburn and our watchers location as well. Uh, so just give us a call or visit us online at www.minersleisureworld.com.